All right, all right, all right. What is up, people? I'm your boy, Broke Average Joe. And today, we're actually going to be doing, um, we're going back a little bit. We're going to do a little setup guide on Sleepagachi, um, you know, for new users and everything in case you're getting in and you're not sure what to do. Um, we'll also go over a couple of troubleshooting issues um, in case you're running into problems whenever you get set up. So, yeah, so we'll get into it here. Um, what you see on the screen now, so normally it's my my uh, my main cell phone that you see here. Um, this one is actually a second cell phone. Um, I got permission from the devs to do uh, a second account here. That way I can set up uh, the, the whole the whole process for you. So you can see all of that since I already have everything set up on my main. Um, I'm going to go through it here. I don't believe there's anything set up as far as uh, sleep schedule, um, you know, permissions, anything like that. Um, so I think we're starting fresh. Um, I'm also going to be trying to sync the Mi Band data here. I got a Mi Band 6. Uh, so we're going to try that out as well. Um, as you can see, I have the two apps here, the Zep Life and the Mi Fitness. So we're going to give those a shot. Uh, I don't think I've tested them yet on this device. So we're going to give it a shot here and see what happens. Um, the, literally all I've done so far on here is download Sleepagachi. Uh, let me make sure it's on the latest. Yeah, okay. So it's fully updated. We're good to go there. Um, so we'll jump right into it. Uh, so right now we're going to assume that you've gotten your invite email. Um, you've downloaded test flight. So as you can see here, the test flight app, um, this one right here, this is what you'll need, um, for testing Sleepagachi as it's in the closed alpha stage. So you get test flight, uh, you get the email to download Sleepagachi and then you end up with Sleepagachi here. Give me one second. Got to get my morning tea in. All right. So now that you've got Sleepagachi downloaded, it's time to get in there and get it set up. So we'll open Sleepagachi here. Notifications. Yeah, I like the notifications because it's whenever you purchase something or sell something on the marketplace, uh, you get notified of that. And it also sends you a notification um, after your wake up time. I think it's normally after my wake up time to claim your sleep boxes. So in case you forget to get in the app and, and claim your stuff from the night before, um, it's a nice little reminder. I really like it for the marketplace notifications though. So with the newest update here, we got some charts on the market screen. Uh, those are really nice for displaying some historical data and things like that. Um, the bid structure and ask structure got remade, uh, which is nice as well. The splash screen, the random dyno, I love that part. That is great um social media they added the refresh possibility on leaderboard so if you're if you're in the app for a while the leaderboard might not be you know uh real time so that's good there um there was a bug with the market where you can set aesthetic nfts uh and sell them and then they're automatically equipped to other players aesthetic room even if they don't have one unlocked i experienced that at one point um, and then they remove the upgrade with section for level sevens, which makes sense because you can't upgrade that. Um, yeah, so let's get in here, start testing. All right. I'm going to hide this real quick while I, uh, while I set this part up, but all you want to do here is, um, enter in just your, your full name. One sec, it's hard for me to freaking type and talk at the same time without typing what I'm talking, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, you want to enter in your name, your email address, and then you want to create a password. Uh, what I would suggest is a Gmail. Uh, they seem to have the least amount of problems because you need to get a verification code. Uh, Gmail seems to have the least amount of problems with receiving those. Um, sometimes it takes, you have to send them a couple times for it to come through, you know, different things. I've experienced that with other apps as well. Um, just those verification codes, not wanting to send, or they go to your spam, something like that. 
Um, so yeah, and the email that you use here, uh, it doesn't have to be your Apple ID email. It can be, it doesn't have to be. Um, but you wanna make sure that you know what this email address is, and then you wanna note down your password, because sometimes after, um, after updates and things like that, new versions, you get logged out and some people have to go through the trouble of remaking their password and the whole thing. So I would suggest noting that down somewhere, your email and password for the app. All right, I got mine all ready to go. So all you do then, after you've got your email, your name, email, and password in, just hit sign up. Then it says we've sent an email with a verification code. Pull it up now so it updates. I don't really care if anyone sees my verification code. It's never going to do anything after this. Let's see. Congrats. You've been successfully registered with Sleepagachi. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oops. So achieve a consistent sleep schedule rewards you with going to bed and waking up at a consistent time. That's what sleep Agachi is all about. All right. Meet your goals and collect items from your meta room. Maintain a healthy schedule and receive items for your meta room. Cool. Every item in your meta room is an NFT. So that's a cool part. Uh, it gets confusing in the discord when our people are asking about NFTs, but... So the virtual currency here are sheep tokens. Uh, every night that you're sleeping, uh, if, you, if your data pulls through and everything and you're sleeping properly, you'll get sheep tokens. And you'll also get uh, at least one NFT item, if not two, possibly. Each item in your bedroom determines how much virtual currency, how many tokens you earn for sleep. We'll go over that here in a second. Sync Sleep Agachi with your wearable device for extra rewards. Sleepagachi natively supports major wearable devices like Apple Watch, Whoop, Xiaomi, and Aura. Now, before I go into the app, actually, this reminded me, I want to try and set up uh, my Mi Band data. So, where's the health app? Hold on a second. Let me move this thing over here real quick. That way I don't have to keep switching back and forth. I think I tested something in here before. Don't share my data. How did it already have data in here? I don't think I... What the heck? That's odd. This thing has been sitting... This phone has just been sitting on a table for ever. I don't know how it thinks that... <laughs> I mean, that's freaking close to my sleep. But like, geez. How does this thing know? Um... Yeah, so my goal right now is to get the Mi Band data synced in here. Um, so here it'll show your sleep schedule. I tested something. I don't remember what it was here. Uh, we'll probably see it down here whenever I check out the data. Um, so a big thing whenever you're setting up your, your health data and all this, um, whenever you get into sleep, my favorite part about sleep, about this tab here, is going down to the bottom and this show all data and data sources and access. These two these two uh, things are very important and they can help you a lot in Sleepagachi. Um, so we'll show all data. 27. Wow, it's already syncing everything. That's how it knows. I was about to say, okay, I woke up before 607, but that's fine. I'll show you on my phone. I think it has me at 6 or 601. Um, yeah, 951. That might have been when I laid down, like as soon as I laid down. That's fine. I mean, I'm within the 15 minutes. So I'll explain that in a bit. Um, but this synced, it synced so much data. Like it has synced, what is this? Two, four, six, seven. Seven different data points and it's all the same data. That's nuts. I don't know why it does that, but whatever. We got the sleep data in there, I guess. Um, so this is how you would check if your wearable data is in here. Um, this symbol here will, or will show you where the data is coming from. So this I know is coming from the Mi Fit application. Um, if you have an Apple Watch, it'll just have an icon of a watch here. And then if it's your phone data, 
uh, it'll show you just a cell phone sitting here. I don't think, yeah, I never set it up before. Um, but we'll go through a scenario. Say you don't have a wearable, all right, and you won't have that data pulling in. What you want to do is uh, you want to do a sleep schedule. Why is it not allowing me? Ah, here we go. So you want to set up sleep. So you want to get started. All right, so you can get next. However many hours you think that you can sleep. This is This is a very important part. If you can only sleep for six hours and you set your schedule to be eight hours, you're going to get very little tokens. The The app likes you to stick to your schedule. Um, so if you can sleep for six hours, set your schedule for six hours. And that way you'll get the most tokens possible. If you do six hours and you can only sleep four hours, you're going to be earning a lot less tokens. But in my case, right now I've been on a pretty good eight hour kick. So we're going to try and stick to that. Um, you can also set it. So what a lot of people also miss are the weekend days. Um, sometimes these get check marked. So if you uncheck them here, this is only going to be a weekday schedule. And on the weekends, no data will pull through. So this is one thing you want to make sure that you have um, all of these days selected whenever you create your sleep schedule. Um, and then you can set your time. You know, you can pull this around and create it to be whatever you want. Um, I've been liking the 10 to 6 right now. We'll set it there for now, see what happens. Um, an alarm I don't need because I already have another alarm. For some people, though, this is how they this is what they use to wake up. So this alarm could be a great option for you. Um, I have my other phone and everything else goes off. I have like six alarms that go off in the morning because I'm afraid of not waking up. So we'll add this. Yes, next. Sleep screen, I mean, that's up to you. I'd, this isn't my main phone, so I'm not worried about it. Um, oh, actually, though, I do need sleep's focus on. I think I need this on. Like 99% sure. Turn on at bedtime. Yeah, okay, we need that. Cool. We're good there. We'll go back to open sleep and health. So we've got a schedule now. Now, uh, if I lay my phone down at 9.55 and then wake up at 6 o'clock, this will know. Um, you know, it'll it'll tell me that the time in bed is 9.55 to 6 o'clock. And then that sleep data will pull through up here. No schedule. Oh, that was just highlighting whenever I didn't have a schedule. But yeah, so it'll show up in here. It'll look something like this. Uh, it'll be grayed out. For some reason, the Mi Band data doesn't show up as bright blue. Um, whoops. It, uh, it all shows down here as time in bed, which is quite odd instead of time asleep. But we'll go over that a little bit later if we need to. The other thing I was saying about this data sources and access this is also one of my favorite tabs um, because right now in Sleep Agachi, um, right now in Sleep Agachi, people are having issues with, say they use a wearable uh, and they have phone data. Whenever they pull up Sleep Agachi, it pulls in their phone data instead of their wearable data. Um, a lot of times this is due to this data sources down here. Uh, you want to make sure once my sleep data comes in tomorrow uh, for my phone having a, a sleep schedule set, it's going to have my phone listed here on this list somewhere. You want to make sure that your wearable data, so this Me Fitness for me, uh, is at the top of the list. So if it's not, say your Me Fitness is at the bottom and your phone is at the top of the data source list, Sleep Agachi is probably going to pull through um, your your phone data instead of your wearable data. So in that case, you want to go to the top right. You want to go up here to edit, all right? So you want to edit this, and then you can drag them around and pull up your, your wearable data up to the top, and then done. Uh, this has been helping a lot, of, a lot of users so they don't have to delete their sleep data. So yeah, we got sleep set up now. Everything there is okay. Um, now we can go back to Sleep Agachi and see what happens. Finish this, uh, finish this setup.
So the first one it asks you is at what time would you like to go to bed? So this is, since we already set one up in Apple Health, I'm going to just mirror that. Um, we set up, we set up uh, 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock, so 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So here we'll set 10 p.m. next, and it's going to ask what time would you like to wake up? 6 a.m. So that's going to match my Apple Health schedule next. Wake up reminder? Sure. Why not? All right. So this is the target sleep duration of eight hours. Eight hours is the max earnings you can uh, get in, in Sleep Agachi right now. So if you go over that, if you can sleep for nine hours and you sleep for nine hours, you're going to earn the same as eight hours. That's just how it is. Um, studies show that eight hours is the optimal sleep. So that's why they kind of set it there. But next, are you sure your bedtime and wake time goals are entered correctly? Consistently achieving your goals can earn you extra rewards. You can later make changes in your settings. Okay. Start earning rewards for keeping a healthy sleep schedule. Please sync your Apple Health sleep data. Let's do it. This is another good one. You want to make sure that all of these are turned on. I know it's only one, but I always hit turn all on um, for some of these things. So we want to allow, make sure it can pull everything through. Okay, now what I want to see, you start off with three items and one free sleep box. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure everybody starts off with one free sleep box, but we'll open that here in a second. We'll, we'll uh, start that here later. Give me one second though. Oh, sure. Let's check it out. You got Mojo Jojo, baby. All right. So now we have our meta room here. Um, it's ready to pull in data. Oh, yo, Pranup, what's up? If you're using a wearable, then you should be able to use be able to two sleep boxes. Yeah, uh, let me, I'll, I'll actually, uh, I'll show you that here in a second. Um, if you sleep close to your sleep schedule, yes. Uh, it, it depends on whether you're close to your sleep schedule or not. So I'll, I'll show you here in a second. So we'll go to claim NFT here. Actually, you know what? Let's open the sleep box, see if it gives me anything good. Let's see what happens. Aw, dice poster, come on. So as you can see now, we got items in our in our inventory. Uh, you start off with a level one mattress, a pink rug, and a forest poster. Uh, as you saw there, I just got another poster from that other box. So if I wanted to, I could equip this um, poster. I can sell this poster, um, all, this, all those kind of things. You can upgrade these items as well. Um, you just need two of the same item with the same level. So in this case, if I get another level one mattress, I could upgrade this to a level two. That's just... Oh, nice and clean, 45,700. Let's go. But let's get into uh, the data here. So we're going to go to claim NFT. All right, 6.82 on the first night. That's freaking nuts. So let me go over the rewards a little bit here. It shows the rewards math at the bottom here. So for an eight-hour sleep goal, you get 1.5 tokens, uh, 1.5 times your tokens. So 1.5 times your total power. So I started off 1.5 times 1.52. Then for the actual sleep duration, uh, this one maxes out at a times one. So the only thing this can actually do is hurt you if you're under your sleep goal. So if I set an eight hour sleep goal, like I said before, and I can only sleep for six hours, uh, this number will be very low and will reduce your earnings significantly. Like that would be like a 0.5. Like it would cut your earnings in half. It, it gets pretty insane. So that's why you want to make sure you're sleeping close to your uh, sleep schedule. Now, Pranup, what you asked about, uh, this it has to do with this bedtime and wake up time. Um, so you see how mine's a 2.0 times multiplier here? This is what they call the I. Um, there's a formula set up so that Depending on when you go to bed and when you wake up, it determines what this multiplier is. Um, to get two sleep boxes every night, you need to be both of these numbers, this plus seven here and minus nine, need to be within 
15 minutes of your bed and wake time. So I, uh, so this is nine minutes before I could be within 15 minutes before or after my bed and wake times to get this 2.0 multiplier and to get the two boxes. That's what you need to be able to get to. Uh, you need a wearable and then you need both of these, your bed and wake time to be within 15 minutes before or after your, your bed and wake up times. Normally the wake up time is pretty easy to hit because your alarm goes off or whatever. Uh, the bedtime is the one that, that is very important um, that you get on track there. And then because of using a wearable, you also get a 1.5 times multiplier at the very end to all the tokens that you've accumulated through all of these other multipliers. So I end up with 6.82 tokens and two boxes here for the first night. So we want to claim. Oh, look at that, a one day streak, let's go. All right, so we claim that, now what do you do? So the next thing you wanna do is what I did earlier. You wanna to go to this middle tab here, this is your inventory. And then at the top, you wanna to go to sleep boxes since the ones you earned are there. So here's the two sleep boxes that we just earned. And then you wanna open them. So the first night here, I like to pull this a point two. That's what a pink rug, oh, D20 rug got me there. All right, so we got a D20 rug, second one here, point two, another D20 rug. So that's good. I can show you guys uh, the level up process. So we have two D20 rugs here. They're both level one, and they're both the same exact item, so we can upgrade. You want to go to the D20, and then if you go down here, it says upgrade with. This is the one thing that I'm not a fan of in the app right now is how it lists one to buy before it lists the one that's in your inventory. Um, this is the other D20 level one rug that's in my inventory. I wish it was up top and then the option to buy would be at the bottom, but that's just personal preference. I don't know. I, I'm assuming some people end up buying these items whenever they don't need them. But in any case, you want to click down here and that'll get you, it'll prompt you to use uh, sheep tokens to upgrade. So in this case, it's very cheap for common rugs to upgrade. Um, beds are the most expensive to upgrade and then the higher the rarity, the more it costs as well. So just keep that in mind whenever you're going to upgrade, um, you do need some sheep tokens to burn to get, to get them leveled up. So we'll go upgrade here and boom, our level one turned into a level two. It got a power increase, um, to a 0.3. What is the pink rug? 0.2 with a 1.0. Yeah. So we'll swap these out. So you'll see here, my pink rug has 0.2 power and my D20 rug has 0.3. We can go in here and equip this. One second and boom. Now this is in my, this is a uh, part of my setup now. And if you go back to the home screen, it'll update with your new meta room items. D20 rug will replace the pink rug. And boom, there it is. That's my new room. And you can see my power went up from 1.62 to 1 or 1.52 to 1.62. And that's how you upgrade. That's how you get your power going. Um, starting out for new users, I would suggest uh, doing commons. Uh, I know it sounds kind of weird, but commons are very cheap. Let me show you the marketplace is down here. This is where you can buy and sell all of your items. Um, See these commons, like this dice bed is 1.49 sheep. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna start buying these. But we like putting bids out. Bids are your best way to get cheaper items. And you can make multiple bids. So since I'm putting out two bids right now, if I were to get both of these, um, I'd be able to upgrade into a level two dice bed and I'm actually going to keep going here. We'll throw out four 1.01 bids and see if anybody sells to us. Oops, not 10.01. That would suck. All right. So we have four bids out and you can see here, there's my orders here. These are all the bids that I put out. So if we go in here, bids, these are all the bids that I put out on it. Um, we refresh. I should be the best bid here, but that's all right. It, it's probably because it's my bid. 
yeah, so that's what you want to do. You want to try and accumulate items. You want to try and level them up as fast as possible with the cheapest items possible. And in this case, with a dice bed being one sheep, that's pretty insane. Um, another thing to look out for here, there is leaderboards. Down here is the leaderboard tab here, the second one over. So we'll see where we're ranked here with the first night of pulling 6.82 sheep, 5,775. And then another cool trick, if you want to just skip to yourself, you can click down here where you're at, where it says you. If you click there, it'll pull up where you're at. So you'll see how you kind of compare to all the people around you. Uh, these are probably most people on their first night or if they're struggling to get some sleep. Um, you know, that's where we're at here. Uh, just as a note, the most updated alpha rewards that we know of, the top 5,000 on the leaderboard uh, get an origin NFT character, at least one uh, for the top 5,000. So that's a nice goal to strive for. Um, you can easily keep ranking up there because if you, I mean, if you look at what 5,000 is, where are we at here? I earned almost seven sheep on the first night and top 5,000 is 50 sheep right now. So it's not that far off. Oh, I missed some chat here. Sorry. What's up grappler? Oh, correctly. The, so he said, do I recall correctly that we can keep NFTs we earn in testing, but they have no power in next phase of the game? That is correct, Grappler. Um, as far to, to my best knowledge, that is what I've been told um, is that your sheep will get reset, but the items that you have will stay with you, but their power will be reduced to zero. So they can't be used for earnings, but you can throw them in your in your aesthetic room uh, if you like the way they look. Um, you really want to keep your low number items and I'm having trouble parting ways with some in the shop. Yeah, so you'll keep them. Uh, they can be thrown in your aesthetic room if you like the low NFT numbers as well. That's a, you, you'll, to my best knowledge, that's what I've been told that you'll keep them. Um, but it really hasn't been 100% confirmed. But yeah. What's after 5K? Uh, are you talking about rewards, Harvey? Like if you go further? Um, right now there's some listed in the white paper, but the white paper is currently being redone and it'll be released in September, uh, for updated rewards. But, um, I mean in there right now, if you get in the top 100, I think it is, you get three origin NFT characters, uh, instead of one and the top, the other one must, uh, the other one's like top 500, I think for two, I can't remember a hundred percent. Um, but yeah, there's, a, there's ways to earn more than one origin NFT. If you can keep climbing the rate, the leaderboards, um, they also might introduce something like beta access for top, whatever, right now it says top 2000. I'm assuming that's going to get adjusted a little bit. Um, the top like 10 get to choose an NFT item. I think it is to put into beta and the top, uh, the top three on the leaderboards get to actually name and create uh an nft i think it is so some nice perks um there but like i said for some people starting out you know the goal is top 5000 so here it is 5000 gets you where this guy's at and he's chilling right now with all level one stuff so i don't know if he maybe he doesn't understand how to upgrade or, or what um i'm not sure but yeah there's a lot of people here who you know, two power, 2.68, you know, not too much power here. It could be pretty easy to get up there, but yeah, saving a select few items. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm doing that as well. I'll actually show you guys here towards the end of this. Hey, no problem, Harvey. Anytime. And if you have any other questions, hit me up. Uh, that's why I like doing these live sessions other than just a recorded video. Cause I can help people out in the process, um, rather than just me recording and, and you guys just watching when does testing end so we actually got an update uh from anton and alex they said that the goal is uh to be finished with alpha um at the end of september and then launch beta october so i think their goal is october 1st for beta so the day before that is when i would assume alpha would end so yeah um and then they're also planning on releasing the Android version in October as well for any of you guys out there waiting for Android. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, that's the that's the current setup we got going on here. Um, another way to check your 
your bids that you put out is to go into your inventory here and then your my nft bids you can see all the ones that you bid on what their price is you can close them if you don't want them anymore all of that good stuff all right but i think yeah no problem dude i appreciate you guys all hanging out asking the questions um that, that, it's, it's awesome having you guys in here and everything so thank you guys for that um i'm gonna try and cut this video down to do a better intro for everyone so it's not way long um so that everybody gets scared of these long videos um, they're just long because they're live streams but yeah thank you guys so much for coming out i appreciate it uh, we'll have another one next weekend next sunday at 7 a.m est again um, i'm gonna try and get this going weekly so thank you guys again you guys are awesome thanks for the questions thanks for hanging out and uh, yeah if you get any more questions throughout the week or whatever hit me up in the discord i'll be there I'll be there. So yeah, thanks again and uh, have a great rest of your day.